Hi, thanks for watching Peter's Food Adventures. And today I'm going to be making tomahawk steak. It's basically a ribeye steak that is still attached to the rib. It is one of the pricier cuts of meat, but because it's cut so thick, you'll find it extra juicy. Now you want to make sure you cook it right and you don't want to overcook it. And to get the temperature right, you want to make sure you're using temperature probes. Now my favorite part about the tomahawk is it's basically a giant Flintstone steak. Uh, think back to the cartoons and uh, that reminds me of my childhood. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by seasoning this with salt and pepper. So you need to be pretty generous with the salt. You need at least a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half per side. Uh, this is a fairly large one, uh, and you don't need to worry about anything other than salt and pepper. Now, there are people who, even on the edges, who do love like the standard SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, you can add if you like. Some people would add Montreal steak spice. It is entirely up to you. It is a very thick cut of meat. After we salt it, we wanna make sure that we bring it up to room temperature. So it's gonna sit out for about 30 to 45 minutes. And I'm just gonna use coarse ground pepper. I'm gonna get it everywhere for the flavor. If you want to foil just for aesthetic reasons, you could foil the rib and uh, when you serve it, it kind of looks nicer. And now we're just gonna bring it up to room temperature while I get the barbecue ready. Okay, so now this is nice and hot. Ooh, nice. And we're ready <laughs> to sear the meat. Okay, so I've just put on a glove because it's easier to pick this up and you want to kind of sear the edges a bit as well. Now I've preheated the oven to 180, uh, that's Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. Ooh. So now I'm just going to place these on a wire rack on a tray, ready to go into the oven to complete the cooking. Okay, so this is the most important part. I've got two meat thermometers and I'm gonna insert them, but we don't wanna to touch the bone. So you just wanna get it in just right in the center. And I'm gonna cook this to 130 degrees uh, to pull it out and give it resting time, which will bring it up to a medium rare. Okay, so this is where everyone does compound butter. I don't like the mashing of the butter. I know, so I do it a little bit differently. That's half a cup of butter, and I'm gonna throw in two cloves of garlic. Well, that looks like three, it's just one fell apart, and fresh rosemary. And I'm gonna give this just a few minutes to melt and infuse together. And when the steak is resting and coming out of the oven, I'm gonna pour this melted infused butter over top. So it's gonna bring out that flavors of your uh, creaminess of the buttery of the steak it's gonna be amazing all righty so there we go they are ready to be rested so I'm gonna take out the probes now before I rest it and pour the butter I'm gonna take off the wire rack I want the juices to be in contact with the meat okay so here's the butter we melted earlier and I'm just pouring it over both of the tomahawk steaks and now we're just gonna cover with foil for 10 minutes So now let's see how we went. Oh, wow. Amazing. Now let's just do a quick temperature check. 134. I'm happy with that. That is perfection. Served with roasted cherry tomatoes and broccolini that I threw in the air fryer. Or broccoli would work. That's a great side as well. Don't forget the sauces. The moment of truth. Perfect. I love this. All right, and that's it. That's how you make a tomahawk steak on the grill, in the oven, cooked to absolute perfection, juicy and, mm, this will be the best tomahawk steak you've ever had. Hit like, subscribe to my channel. Recipes on the website like always. We'll see you next time.
Mmm. Mmm. So good. You still here? 